Well, yesterday I raised a little controversy here, uh, and uh, some people wondered whether I was going to pull back on it, and I'm not, uh, despite the early morning calls from my liberal friends who hung up on me. I made a point yesterday that there are 75,000 Muslim students, students in the United States right now, of which 20 percent have never showed up at their schools. There's another 20,000 coming in the fall of this year. I have no problem with those people staying in the 75,000 and the 20,000 coming. They have every right to get an education. They've been approved. What I said was we need two years to allow this to get worked out in the United States because the FBI has got active files on a number of students, visa holders who are Muslims who are not in school, and some who are. And if the, if the FBI could not deal with this fellow in Boston, with all they had on him, it seems to me that we ought to give them time to clear up their problems with the current Muslim population here and then let students come back in. That's what my point was, and I stick with it. Imagine if um, they have a problem with 75,000, what are they going to do with 11.5 million illegals who are here illegally? Well, but there's a, big, there's, a big, there's a big <laughs> I difference. I mean, think about it, Bob. Yeah, there's, like, there's a big difference. These 75,000. Leave 11 million. I'm sure, we have I'm, no I'm, idea where they come from or what, what yeah, they're about. I'm, leave them here. But, we, but, do, but we do know that the Muslims who are coming here come from countries where their, their leadership does not like the United States. Their clerics do not like the United States. They are taught not to like the United States. That's much different than people who come in from Mexico. So there you go. What they, oh. Well, I'm going to make this a banner day and disagree with you again. Okay. Um, I think that education diplomacy is one of the best things that we have. Most leaders that you can deal with in leadership that are in the Middle East were educated in the West, either in the United States or in Britain. Um, they're going to be educated somewhere. And wouldn't you rather have them here and get a taste of America and freedom than overseas? I do think that stronger coordination with those governments makes a lot of sense. And holding possibly holding universities liable because they're looking for the money yeah. the universities are and they're bringing they are all they want is that money um, but I think that we cannot wall ourselves off from the world education health and sports diplomacy are our best tools this was and this guy wasn't even the, the losers were not on student visas yeah I was I'm not let me connect with Boston at all I don't think what I'm proposing it would have stopped Boston from happening Greg well, I, uh, I, I have mixed feelings. Uh, I find it funny that people who are angry at you over cutting off student visas are usually less angry about terrorists cutting off people's heads. Um, but I, am, I, I, I just think overall, better background checks. Uh, when, when I got married, my wife had to move over uh, with me to London in the United States. We had to, you know, she had to go through so many background checks to essentially say she's not a terrorist. I mean, that's what you have to do. So, and we, and then she had to go through health checks and all this other stuff. And anyway, where are you on this? Um, <laughs> you have these, these moments of brilliance. Um, and I have to say, I absolutely agree with you, Bob, um, on this one. You know, the State Department has a couple programs in place. One of them was ramping up uh, to bring Muslim students to the U.S. They're actually recruiting them. And Dana's right. The universities do this because they can actually charge the foreign students more so that they get five-year visas, scholarships covering tuition, they learn English. But should we really be teaching them nuclear physics so they can return to their home countries? And not all of them, not all of them radicalize, but they do come here to get an education. And you know what? That does that takes a seat away from an American kid. But it also Lots of parents I, can't even get their kids into colleges now. Yeah, because but if you, there's not enough if, spots. If you take them out of the schools, the school GPA is going to drop because they're <laughs> well, killing our students. Say, I agree with Dana. By the way, a lot of these schools, particularly for-profit schools, are signing. All they got to do is sign a letter saying yep. yes, they're accepted the school, and then they can get a student visa. I'm not suggesting that massive numbers of these students are radicals bent on doing damage to the United States. But I'm a, I believe in statistics. And at some point, you've got to say to yourself, if you've got 75 or 95,000, there is a percentage of them that are potentially dangerous. One more thing is up next. If I'm doing my job, it's your resolve,